Prince Charles just became king and he will inherit a priceless jewelry collection that he will be wearing during his upcoming coronation. I'm gonna break down the main four jewels that King Charles will be wearing during this upcoming historic event. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for everything brilliant, diamond and jewelry related and hit that bell. Number one, the Saint Edward's crown. The cost of creating this crown was 13,000 British pounds, which equals in today's market to 1.3 million British pounds. It weighs over four pounds and is used only once to crown the monarch during the coronation ceremony. It features emeralds, sapphires, amethysts, peridots, aquamarines, and is made of a solid gold frame. This crown was originally made for King Charles II back in 1661. And since then, six monarchs have worn this crown. King Charles II, James II, William III, King George V, King George VI, and Queen Elizabeth II. And soon will be worn by King Charles III. The crown jewels are kept in the Tower of London in a building known as the Jewel House inside a vault that is said to withstand the shock of a nuclear bomb. I have a question for you. Who would you prefer to see as King and Queen of England? Charles and Camilla or William and Kate? Tell me all about it in the comments below. Number two, the Sovereign's Orb. This is a hollow gold ball, which is set with clusters of sapphires, emeralds, rubies, and of course, many diamonds. Also, it is set with pearls and surmounted by an octagonal amethyst, which is surrounded by a diamond pearl cross, set with a sapphire on one side and an emerald on the other. This orb is placed on the right hand of the monarch, and King Charles will have to hold it during the entire ceremony until they go back to Buckingham Palace. The orb is a representation of the Christian world and the monarch's power, and it is split into three sections because at the time it was made, only three continents were known to men. Fascinating history, isn't it? And if you're wondering about the gorgeous diamond pieces I'm wearing, be sure to click on the link below to see my original diamond designs. Number three, the Sovereign Scepter. The scepter is a representation of temporal power and good governance by the monarch. At the top of the scepter, there is a diamond and emerald cross. Below that, there is a faceted, gorgeous amethyst, followed by a heart shape, which holds one of the pieces of the legendary Collinan diamond. This diamond is known as the Collinan One and is the largest cut colorless diamond in the world, weighing 530 carats alone. And it is also known by its nickname, the first star of Africa. Interestingly enough, this diamond can be removed from the scepter and has been worn as a brooch by Queen Alexandra, Queen Mary, and the late Queen Elizabeth II. Number four, the Imperial State Crown. A number of jewelry experts have estimated the value of the Imperial State Crown between three and five billion British pounds. This is one of the most iconic, famous, and symbolic pieces of jewelry in the entire world and the most precious crown in the entire royal collection. This crown is set in gold and is made with nothing less than 2,868 diamonds, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds, 269 pearls, and four precious rubies. And it was made back in 1937 for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth's father in George VI. The king will wear the imperial state crown after the coronation while he walks out of the church on his way to Buckingham Palace. The king wears the imperial state crown as he leaves church after the coronation and he will wear it every time he opens parliament, which is a tradition that continues to this day. But why is this crown so emblematic? It features the second largest cut diamond in the world, weighing 314 carats, also features stones that trace back to the 13th century. And if that wasn't enough, it also features a legendary ruby that weighs 170 carats, the famous Black Princess Ruby. If you ask me about my favorite piece, I will have to choose unquestionably the Imperial State Crown. What is your favorite piece? Tell me all about it on the comments below. My name is Ana Lucia Beltran. I am a jewelry designer and diamond expert. And until next time, keep shining bright.